What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have gone ahead and released two versions of Shapeshifter Guerrero and you can only pick one of them. One of them is a centre mid and the other one is a right back. Both of them have got 5 star skill moves, both of them have got 4 star weak foot, both of them have got high high work rates but one of them is left footed and the other one is right footed and the stats are different between the two. So the right back has got better pace, better defending and better physicals while the center mid has got better shooting better passing and better dribbling as i said both are looking very very good but the reason i feel like the center mid version is going to be more of a popular option is simply because of his height him being a five foot seven player i feel like a lot of people are going to look at that and they're going to go hmm Max stick headers, yeah, it's going to be something that he's going to probably struggle with, let's say. So I definitely feel like the centre mid version is going to be the most popular. But still, as I said, the right back, right back version is still looking very, very good. But just look how all-rounded this card is. Like, he, he literally looks like he can play in every position. I am going to try him in a striker position today as well with the Hawk Kemsar applied because... His shooting stats with the Hawk look outrageous. The pace looks outrageous. The physicals look nice as well. And he's even got a five-star skill move. So it definitely looks like he can play in that striker position. But I am going to try him out first in his natural position, the sentiment position, uh, with the anchor chem style applied. I feel like the anchor chem style just boost up his physicals a very nice amount while also pretty much maxing out his pace he's got 99 acceleration with 98 sprint speed that kind of pace in the midfield is going to be incredible the shooting stats just straight off the bat look really good he's got 90 attacking positioning 93 finishing 93 shot power 92 long shots with 90 volleys has he got any has he got any shooting trait sorry he has he's got the outside foot shot trait the passing ability looks beautiful the dribbling ability looks incredible he him being five foot seven with five star skill moves now, I'm definitely expecting his dribbling to be top tier. His defending ability looks incredible. Like, look at those defending stats. He's got 98 interceptions, 95 defense awareness, 99 standing tackling with 98 slide tackling. And his physicals with the anger camps are applied look very solid for a five foot seven player. He's got 85 jumping, 95 stamina, 93 strength with 90 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to the links, the club ain't too bad. You can get a, a nice strong link with Witzel, a nice strong link with a player like Bellingham. I mean, if you're using Haaland, you get a strong link there. That Schmelzer, I think that's how you say it, the left back, you obviously get a strong link there as well. And the fact that he's Portuguese, yeah, you guys already know. Ruben Diaz, Cancelo, CR7. There's so many, so many good Portuguese players in this game. So the links are definitely top tier. Now, when it comes down to positions, I will be using him in a sentiment position with the anchor chem style applied. But I will be switching him to a Hawk chem style, as I said, and I will be using him in a striker position because I do want to try to score a few goals with him today. So let's get into uh, the gameplay and let's see how good Guerrero is going to be. I'm just going to give that out wide. I see him quite open. Guerrero is being very aggressive right now. Like, look at him. He's even making a run in behind. Nice ball roll scoop. Reverse Elastico. Get that ball. No, his animation that he got into... Just didn't allow him to turn fast enough. But that run that he made right there is a run I'm kind of expecting him to make because of the fact that he's got that high attacking work rate. I feel like he's going to be a very aggressive center mid. Mane comes short there. There you go. That's nice. Guerrero, look at that run from him. Good fake shot round the player. And we have ourselves our first goal. You see what I mean about his movement from the center mid position? Look how aggressive he is. He's just going to run, isn't he? Guerrero, go on, put in a good tackle. There you go. Jota, can you win that header? You can. Guerrero, flick it over. Perfect. Go on. On the volley. What a pass that is. Mane, nice touch. Inside, it should be a goal. No, what is that animation from Richarlison? What a pass, though. On the volley as well. He might go for a finish or here. I'm just going to push. There you go, Guerrero. Nice tackle. Use your strength there. Nice ball roll. Nah, no way Modric ends up getting that ball. I do like how he used his strength there when he was under pressure. Can I get that as well? Beautiful block and great awareness to realize that the play was making a run up top. Can I go for the through ball? Go on. That's a nice uh, pass. Decent ball roll. Nah, referee. Sort him out. Oh, he actually got a red card. I was not expecting him to get a red card, I'll be honest. I'm taking this with Guerrero. It's like, what, 20, 23 yards out? 
Guerrero, he's got what? He's got 90, 90 free kick accuracy, 90 free shot power, 94 curve. He's put someone on the line, unfortunately, but I'm still going to go for this. Let's see if this is going to go in. Come on, please. Green timed. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. Hold on. No way we don't even beat the wall. Reverse elastico through the middle. Reverse elastico again. There you go. There you go. Using the outside foot shot trait as well. He's going to drive that straight through the middle. Yeah, there you go. Nice interception as well. Like that's possession based. It doesn't just bounce off him. Good turns and referee. Sort him out again. Let's go for a scoop turn into the gap. Beautiful. Or I'll scoop it. He feels so nice with the skill moves. Like look how the skill moves are coming off. Oh, I wanted to try to green that one. Mistimed it completely, but it still was a decent shot. Play it first time, Son. There you go. Guerrero. Decent touch. I'm just going to use his pace. There you go. Just getting in front of Shapeshifter Robertson. Nice little turn as well. Is he going to make a run there? He doesn't. I reckon he's going to eventually, though. Watch. Yeah, look at him. He's like, he's like trying to commit towards it, but he doesn't want to like fully go for it. Oh, that's red timed as well. If we green time that, it might have gone in. It's a decent pass. Is he going to try to turn through the middle? He does. Guerrero? No way. EA, come on. Come on. We deserve to come out with a ball there. Guerrero got out to the player nicely. And the slide tackle was decent as well. He's just, we got unlucky. Through the middle, maybe. Nah, I tried to push towards him. Couldn't get the right angle. He's going to pass it through the gap. He does. I feel like Guerrero's reach in the midfield is definitely going to be a little bit of a problem time to time. But I was kind of expecting that. As soon as I saw he was a five foot seven player, I knew his interceptions was going to be very good if he got onto it. But I also knew that he was definitely going to miss out on a few interceptions because of that reach that he has got. That pass, though, was insane. Nice scoop turn. Accelerate in the middle. N referee. Re referee. I was about to say, hold on a second. He took his time to blow that whistle. That acceleration, though, through the middle. Yeah, that is uh, that is insane. He's going to try to go through the gap. Go on, use your strength. There you go. No, I tried to... I tried to uh, tackle. That's why I clicked the circle button. But I guess the clearance is okay because we have got the ball back now. But that was good strength from him just to push that play off the ball. Into the middle again. Guerrero's making that movement once again. Good dribbling. Richarlison keep making that run. We got space all the way at the top. And look at that again. The passing ability. I'm telling you guys, that passing in the midfield is going to be very nice to work with. Look at the movement. Being aggressive again. Give it into the middle. Nice pass into Richarlison. What a finish from Richarlison. It all just pretty much came from Guerrero playing that pass all the way to the other side. Then he made a run inside the box, gave me that passing option, played the extra pass to Richarlison, and we get the goal at the end. No, oh, no way he got that ball across. That's an auto tackle from uh, from Guerrero. I didn't click anything there. He's looking for that pass in the middle. There you go, Guerrero once again. Good interception. Can I get that? I tried to slide tackle. I tried to see if I can maybe just go through the middle there. But clearly we, uh, we got caught out and yeah, I should have kept it a bit more simple. But I'm loving his interceptions. Like they're sticking to him. They're not bouncing off him. That's a good run in the middle. Can I play that pass? Look at that pass. What a finish from Jota as well. On the ground, just straight through the defensive line. He's trying to find a pass in the middle. I'm going to push towards there. There you go. Another good tackle. Nice ball roll from Son as well. Let's go for one of these switches again. Look at that. Is Marnie going to win it? Come on, get that. No, why is he not like locked onto it? If he locks on there, I just go for another pass into Marnie and we get ourselves a goal. I'm going to push towards him here. I reckon he's going to go for that finesse shot. There you go. We read that like a book. And Guerrero got his body in the way. And we have lost the ball in a stupid area. Witzel, thank you for saving me. Let's give that ball into Guerrero. There you go. Nice little fake shot. Let's go for the chip at a hard angle. And we have another goal with him. I've now put him on the Hawk chem style. And we are playing him in a striker position. I'm going to give it back to Witzel. There's no one really giving me a passing option right now. That's a nice pass into Son. Look at Guerrero in the middle. No, I tried to hold off Chiellini just for a little, just to see if he was going to be able to do it. And uh, yeah, Chiellini just easily goes round. It didn't even look like Guerrero even attempted to shield him off. That's a nice cutting though. Hold on a second. We got an angle. Green timed as well, but Chiellini gets himself in the way again. I'm going to play it in the Son. I don't really want to go forward with Virgil van Dijk. That's a nice driven pass into Guerrero. We have ourselves 
a guaranteed goal. Nice run from him once again, just getting in behind there. Trying to get into the inside here, but this guy's hullet is just chasing me the whole time. Can I go for a driven there? There you go. Guerrero. Oh my. Get in front of him. Beautiful. Reverse Elastico. La Coquette around him. Oh my. Hard angle. I went to the seat. I know I could have passed it. I know I could have passed it. But look at the way he is feeling on the ball. I'm telling you guys, his dribbling ability is definitely up there. I'm trying to give this a crossover to Witzel. There you go. First time that into Mane. Guerrero. Reverse Elastico. Referee. I thought for a second he was not going to give it. That should be a red. That should be a red. He was already on a yellow card as well. Guerrero, step up to the plate. He's going to put someone online. He is. Let's go for the fake shot tactic. Into the inside this time. Let's go for it. Come on, Guerrero. Hit it across, and it should be an easy goal. So it is time to give my final thoughts on a card. We ended up playing four games with Guerrero, and we scored five goals in those four games, and we also came out with two assists as well. I told you guys I was going to be playing him in two different positions. The center mid position with the anchor chemstar applied, and the striker position with the hawk chemstar applied. And I was really, surpri like, really surprised with how good he was in that striker position. Like I knew his shooting was going to be top tier because you can just tell by looking at the stats with the Hawk chem style applied, his shooting stats are a joke. But the thing that I was really impressed about was the movement. I did not think his movement was going to be that good. Like he was just running everywhere, always giving me a passing option, being aggressive, getting in behind as well. So I really did enjoy him in the striker position. And the fact that he's got five star skill moves is so nice to work with as well, because you can go for like, you can go for like ball roll scoops. You can go for scoop turn round corners. You can go for like McGeady spin cancels. You can pull out any skill move at any angle. So yeah, I really did enjoy him in that striker position. Him in a center position is very, solid as well he obviously helps me out going forward and defensively he did miss out on a few interceptions i'll be honest he definitely did because you know he's not that tall of a player he's five foot seven so his interception reach isn't anything incredible but i felt like every time he was in the passing lane the ball would just stick to stick to his feet no matter what pace it was coming at him at it was honestly incredible how the ball just wasn't really bouncing off him. The standing tackling was very good as well. I noticed he would go into the tackle very aggressively. So you can definitely tell the 95 aggression is coming into play when going in for that standing tackle. But yeah, the pace on the card is incredible. The transition speed was beautiful. You could you could clearly see like I was a... Uh, kind of messing around with him let's say in that midfield time to time where I wasn't just keeping it very simple I was bursting straight past players and it was just so nice to see that I don't have to keep it simple with Guerrero so yeah the pace loved it shooting ability simply incredible the power shots were an absolute joke you can definitely play this card by the way in a striker position if you really want to. As I said, I was so, so happy with the movement in a strike position. The passing ability, joke. Straight up joke. So I was doing it on volleys, and I don't do that very often, but I was really trusting in his long passing. And yeah, his long passing did not let me down. His dribbling ability, you guys saw that left stick dribbling. You guys saw the skill moves. The reverse Alaskos came off so nice with him. The lack of Ketters. Every skill move was just beautiful with him. So yeah, the dribbling ability was really happy with it. Defending ability, ready, we've already spoke about it. The interceptions, very solid if he's in the passing lane. But if he's not in the passing lane, he does miss out on a few because of his reach. And the physicals, love the stamina, strength. I mean, he did use it time to time, but there was definitely certain situations that he was in that he did get pushed off the ball. Like there was one situation that he was up against Chiellini and Chiellini just pretty much went up to him and just pushed him to his side. So don't expect him to hold off these, you know, these players like Chiellini, Varane, but do expect him to hold off maybe players like Ben Yedder, players like... Uh, Who's another tall striker? Any tall striker, pretty much. I can't think of another tall striker at, at the top of my head. Either way, this card is going for 220k. 220k is pretty good pricing. Like, you have to keep in mind, the links on this card is very, very nice to work with as well. So I feel like 220k is worth it. Now, I feel like the best comparison we can do is someone like Kimmich. Kimmich, for me, is a better CDM than this Guerrero card. 
by the centre mid. Oh yeah, Guerrero 100% wins, especially with like the five star skill moves. Yeah, Guerrero wins in that centre mid position, but team of the season Kimmich, I feel like is a better CDM than this card. Where does shapeshifter Guerrero go in the midfielders tier list? He is an incredible, incredible all-rounded card and he offers you so much as well. But I don't think this card is S tier. I think this card is a comfortable A plus tier. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.